This is a Jacksonville rapper, pretty gangster dude. You know, he's always talking about uh, how he enjoy killing ops and how he reps, and he reps uh, Jacksonville. See, I'm from the hood myself, but I have been privileged enough to get out of that situation and look back at these people and study them. I was never as bad as these guys, but I could have been had I stuck around. So let's see how I can help my, how I can translate the hood. Maybe I can help out. Who are you still? All right, we're gonna just say that. Oh, Hell, now, here he, he says, says, this, this is, is crazy, crazy, man. It's, it's aggravating, aggravating as hell, hell man. man. So you're going to hear, gonna hear him, him keep repeating, this is aggravating as hell, hell, man. But that's because, because you know, in the neighborhood, we have more very low IQ people. people. We just are. You know, you, know, you can get, get upset, upset or whatever, whatever the fuck you are. But I know where I low IQ because because of the things we do. It's very easy to tell we're low IQ because of the way we speak. And also, I've read, I've read, like, a lot of this shit. I'm going to keep reading on it throughout my life because you can never read enough. But I've read enough to understand that us in the neighborhood, us from the hoods, we have low IQs from, I think the spectrum is 80, 80 75 to, to 80, which is pretty low. Um, and it's not that much IQ as it is education. You know, um, we don't have much vocabulary. So when it's, when, it times, when it comes time to express ourselves, we repeat the same shit over and over again. Oh, we make up words. Like, like that's, that's my, my nigga, nigga. Well, that's, that's my friend, friend. you know, shit, shit like, like that. that. Oh, the, I, why I bring up the IQ thing is because this guy thought he wasn't gonna get caught. He 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 literally thought he was not gonna get caught. And if you grew up in America, and you don't think you're gonna get caught for committing murders and rapping about it, I mean, man, you aggravating. Aggravating, there it is. Oh, um, let me go. I don't even care about y'all what. He means it when he's telling me when he's saying let me go, y'all y'all better let me go. He means it. He means it. He's he's been aggressive his whole life and he that's the way he gets things done. You know? So a part of him does believe that with that aggressive shit that it might work. It might work. If I just don't say nothing, they can't hold me. You know, because criminals love their rights. Reminds me of Pablo Escobar. As soon as he got caught, he, his rights, his rights. It was always about his rights. I made hell. Let me go. Let me go. She got I made it. I ain't gonna run that. I ain't gonna run that. It's basically he's not gonna cooperate. He's, he's basically saying it's bullshit. And he keeps repeating, it's aggravating as hell, yo. It's aggravating as hell. And he's just, he's basically trying to say, damn, this sucks. I'm concerned. This is, this is not right. Um, I'm fucking scared. I can't believe this shit happened. How did I get caught? I have to, I have to figure more out of this. This is a fucked up situation. But he's just going to keep saying, this is aggravating as hell, bruh. That's aggravating as hell, man. They so aggravated, bro. They ain't gonna do nothing. They still fuck with a nigga, bro. And don't think he's lying. He may be lying to himself, but when he says a nigga ain't doing nothing and they still fuck with a nigga, bro, you know, this guy is a murderer, allegedly. But he's a victim. He's got a victim's mentality. The most dangerous people in the world have a victim's mentality. They're just, you know, Riding around doing nothing and you fuck with them, you know, that's how victims think. That's how Hitler thought. Hitler thought he was a victim of the Jews. He thought that everybody was victimized in Germany. So he acted. Again. Ow. Aggravating as hell, dog. You aggravating me with that low vocabulary, man. God damn. Time to take for Oliver to 
this is Detective Zane. We want to talk to you about some things before we talk to you about anything we want. I love it how they got black cops. They should do that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really with the whole race shit, but I like that. I like that. I like that I, that, that black cops are arresting black men. Black detectives are breaking down black dudes. Because it's, you know, these motherfuckers need to understand, man. It ain't no race thing. It's a system thing. You're going against a fucking system. That, that guy arresting you? That guy fucking you over, that detective? Playing you right now? He black. But he don't care that you're black. He's American, bro. The way it should be. I want to know your rights with you, okay? Okay. All right. Um, what's your highest level of education? What's the last grade you completed? High school? I think 10th grade. Completed 10th grade. Man, this nigga completed the 10th grade. Motherfucker got me by one. God damn. Here I'm talking shit about his end. like, yeah, at least completed the 10th grade. I didn't complete that shit. So you can read and write, correct? Yes, sir. Functional literate. He's a functional literate, like like my granddad. Like I used to be. If you complete the tenth grade, man, you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be reading and writing much big words. I tell you that right now. Are you currently on any medication? No, sir. No medication. Have you ever been diagnosed with any type of mental illness or anything like that? I don't, I don't remember, though. You don't remember? I have to ask you this, but you've been in jail for a while. You had any drugs or alcohol in? No drugs or alcohol? And you're fully capable of having a conversation with me today. You don't hear any birds flying around the room or anything, right? Okay. We're at 501 East Bay Street. Today's date is the 10th. Yep, it's uh, 2.47. Okay, 10th, 2021. And it is 2.47 p.m. Can you do me a favor and read that first line out loud for me? We have the final line under the United States Constitution. Okay. I'm going to read the rest of it. We're going to go over together, okay? It says you do not have to make a statement or say anything. You understand that? Anything you say can be... They leave him alone again. They, give him, they, read, him his, they read him his rights and they leave him alone. Feel me? Damn, God. Oh, what? Jesus, darn it. What the hell, man? Fuck. Aggravated, bro. I'm, I'm worried, man. I'm aggravated, dog. What, what the hell's hell gonna, gonna happen, happen to me? There's <laughs> no way in the world. There's no way. No way in the world. There's no way in the world. Oh, there's a way, my nigga. You're rapping about that shit in your fucking rap songs. And now you wonder. Da 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 da. Girl, fuck no. I have no sympathy. I just have no sympathy for these guys. It's, it's, it's a mixed emotion. Because I feel for them, I understand them. But at the end of the day, man, like I said, I was in the same circumstances. And you have a choice. You have a choice. You, a choice. you understand what you're doing. Criminals are just evil. I don't know why people are not going to understand that, yo. That motherfuckers are evil. Some motherfuckers are evil. But it's easier to do evil things when you're, when you're in the hood. That's, that's just, it's true. It's easier to do. There's no way in the world, all. There's no way in the world, all. There's no way in the world, but I can't. They want to do what they want to do. There's no way in the world, all. This same guy went on Instagram Live and... Confronting his cousin to tell him to come out and have a death match. A death match is like well, you, when you play Halo, it's like it's just, you, go, you want one guy go out and you hunt each other out and you kill each other, but they, you know, doing it for real on Instagram Live. So the kid wouldn't do it. Anyway, a couple of weeks later, this guy kills him. After this guy kills his own cousin, he does a music video where he puts him in a microwave and, and, and the, he comes out like a little blunt like this and he smokes him. You know? And now he wonders. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> 
Yo, go check out who I smoke by this guy and his buddies. So you can see why I keep saying, and now he wonders. There's no way in the world. I do it, woman. I don't do this shit too much. <laughs> See, I don't think he knows they're recording them because, man, that man just scratched the shit out of his sack. Feel me? There's no swag in that. And these guys are very into their image. He wouldn't want that out there. Jacksonville, evil as hell. <laughs> Motherfucker, you're evil as hell, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, man. Okay, translation. Life is fucked up. I'm living a negative fucking life. When these guys say Jacksonville, it's their life, it's their world, it's their hood. You know, and when, when you're like, Amboy was my hood. So it's like, yeah, straight up. Your hood is your life. Niggas die for the hood. So when he says Jacksonville, just see it as life. Like life, you know? My 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 reality. Goddamn Jacksonville, though. Aggravating. Like I said, aggravating is just, he just can't say. He can't express himself in the way, but he's going to keep saying aggravating. Jacksonville, though. They don't made us some old bullshit. I hate Jacksonville, though. Jacksonville, though. Jacksonville, aggravate me. Fuck. Jacksonville, though. Tired of Jacksonville, though. And this is where I guess it, well, this is where he moved me a little bit. Because I can't relate to that right there. Fucking tired of fucking tired of Amboy, you know? That's what I used to say. Like, I'm just tired of this fucking place. Just want to get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? And, like, believe it or not, you can't, a lot of the times you can't get out of that shit. It's easy on the, on the outside. Because now I'm on the outside a little bit. And, you know, I sometimes have to pump the brakes. Like, yo, Alex, chill out. You, you just can't be telling these people, you know, just just leave. It's hard. Where are they going to go? What, you're going to take them in, into your home? You know, you need about $3,000 to get an apartment. And in a lot of these neighborhoods, there's no jobs. And they don't have a work ethic because their parents didn't teach them a work ethic. So they can't even fathom to think to get a job, hold it down, get $3,000. But you know how many things can happen in, in the... In, in the, in the while you're doing that shit, in the midst of you doing that shit, a lot can happen, dude. You know? And you're gonna have to be a very responsible young man to hold a job. It's a, even even it's kids from a good neighborhood can't do that. Hold a job till you till you have three thousand fucking dollars, then move to another place where no one knows you and start it over again. It takes a lot. It, you have to have a, a lot of stars aligned for you to make those decisions. It's not a, it's not it's not that easy. And then this is it right here. This is the hood. This is the real right here. Everybody that wants to be hood and glorifies the hood, all that shit, all the rappers that 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 that, that glorify that shit, fuck you motherfuckers. This is the real right here. This nigga going to jail now forever. You feel me? He should have got out of there when he had the chance, but not everybody gets that chance, unfortunately. This guy's locked up with his dad, too. As soon as I get out, though, I ain't gonna never come back this shit again. Can't wait, though. I ain't never come back here. What was I just saying? Hope they, hope they don't lose it out there, man. Hope they keep their head on. Everybody pray for me. All right, part two's coming up. See you guys later. Part two, part two's coming up. I'm gonna see you guys later, all right? I gotta run.